guys, how you doing? Uh, thanks for tuning in for my 92 degrees Florida drive-by. Uh, it's about 4:20, actually 4:30 on well, Monday. No, Saturday, October 31st. I must have the alarm set for Monday. So it's Saturday, October 31st. Today's Halloween, uh, 2015. I hope everybody's doing pretty good. hanging in there. But, um, yeah, I'm out on the I-75 going, actually, uh, northbound, coming from Naples, Florida, Collier Boulevard. Had to do some work there. I'm going about 60 miles an hour, speed limit, so, yeah, I don't really go that fast. Because I save gas, and I'm just a 60-year-old guy limping along on the road, and my high-efficiency uh, Nissan Versa. I use it for service. You get about 40 miles to the gallon. In actual reality, they say what you're supposed to get, but um, if I go to my um, mileage, because this car tells me what I get, about 30, 35.9, I'm getting uh, gas mileage, which is pretty good because, you know, if you drive a lot, uh, you save a lot of money. Especially, and I drive quite a bit on the throughway. Uh, I mean, I'm always out, as you know, these drive bys. I hope everybody's doing great, having a great day, enjoy your Halloween, have a safe Halloween. And I wanted to bring up a few things uh, as far as, uh, I had a few uh, people asking me some questions uh, in uh, some of my videos. I'm thinking of getting a 1911 80% build and probably uh, building one. I might get a small drill press. I think what I'm going to do, because the weather's getting cooler, and it's cooler in my garage now in Florida, I'll be able to work without sweating my toes off, if you know what I mean, or sweat my balls off. <laughs> but uh, I was going to get an 80% um, stainless steel kit, and then I was going to just go ahead and uh, try my hand at some serrating, uh, some decorating, and just building one. If I already have the kit, then it's a thousand dollar gun. So uh, it probably make something pretty good, nice looking. So I'm just thinking about that idea uh, of uh, just doing the 80% build. And by the way, you probably should grab your 80% build now because 80% build, they want to make a melee gun for um, for the uh, regular cars. I mean, for the regular. Uh, like not any, anything 80%, the rollers, I like ARs, uh, for um, any of your builds, 1911 builds. So if they make them all illegal, you're going to basically be screwed and pooch your home. So if it's me, I would probably recommend, if you can, uh, grabbing some of the 80% builds as soon as you can if you got the money. Uh, I'm going to try to grab maybe one or two up on the side. Because then I can actually go through it through some of the parts, how to machine them, how to clean them up, adjust trigger pull, just build a whole 1911. I don't really need a Larry Vickers course or uh, somebody show me how to build them because there's plenty of guys on YouTube, uh, they have some great in-depth physios that show you how to uh, clean everything up. And, uh, I really don't need them. But I want to know what your thinking and your feeling is on 80% builds, uh, you know, to build see how it would turn out. I think it's a good idea myself. But uh, let me know. I'd like to hear uh, about the 80% 1911 builds. And I know they are going to become, uh, there are already one or two websites that have got shut down. They closed because they're not selling them as many. And ETF wants to do that. So uh, as soon as they do, you won't be able to get those 80% builds anymore. And they are uh, lower or a 1911. Really the only thing is the 1911, the frame, is what's measurable, and the lower is what's measurable on an AR, but you can get the 80% so that it doesn't yourself, that's legal. But, um, so all you have to see, uh, those lower frames are good, because if you get a few of those, then you can basically get any kind of slide and put them on those long shape for But get a good stainless steel one, you don't have to get the cheap aluminum, get, get something that's good. It might be 
little bit more work to machine it. Some people said you probably have to get a drill press, but Arbor Freight's got drill presses for a hundred bucks. So you can get a drill press, a few drills, you make straight holes, and you could use, um, I don't know if you can use your drill press to uh, deck it, which means you flat top off, uh, and, uh, off of the uh, slide to make it uh, flat. And I don't know all the technology, but I'll read, and they got tools for it. If the factory could do it, you know, I could do it. But uh, some of the higher end ones, if you're going to spend thousands, you're going to get one built. If you want to spend, you know, get for, for like about 1500 you can probably build one yourself and learn it. But the higher end ones, I would never pay 5000 for their effectiveness courses. Because you can get a really beautiful, completely done 1911 for most of Combat, Nighthawk, and Brown, any of those other companies that uh, would be better than anything that you could build at one of those. Uh, gunsmithing classes that you can take because they don't use the best products and the best quality uh, materials anyway. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in.